Hi, I'm Uta from Salty Beaver Explorers, and I don't know if you've been watching the news, but British Columbia and Western Canada and the United States have been undergoing a historic, unprecedented heat wave. British Columbia has been under a huge, unprecedented heat wave the past week and a half, I guess. And it's not just here, it's also now heading over east, so over the Prairie Provinces, and also the Pacific Northwest in the United States is also getting this extreme heat. There are temperatures that we have never seen before in British Columbia. Uh, we have actually broken records everywhere. It seems to be every town has broken heat records lately. First of all, what is this heat dome? The heat dome that's blanking across both uh, the western side of the country. Now, it's a significant ridge of high pressure that builds in place and it traps the heat underneath. And what it allows is Mother Nature to crank up the heat and keep significant heat, record-breaking heat for several days. Now, it is blanketing uh, both Alberta and BC and we're going to continue to watch this as this ridge continues to build. With the heat warning, we've got temperatures, highs into the 40s with the humidex feeling into the mid 40s and overnight lows and that'll stretch in towards Alberta will be dipping down just to 20 degrees. It has been blistering in parts of BC. Very unusual for this part of Canada in June. Surely records are breaking. <laughs> Absolutely. And this is significant and unprecedented because we typically see this in July and August. And now we're breaking records in the month of June. We've actually surpassed the highest temperatures even recorded in Las Vegas, which in British Columbia, you think Canada is never going to get that hot, but I guess it is. Yes, you're seeing that right. On June 30th, it was 57 degrees Celsius on our deck, which is 134.6 Fahrenheit. So unfortunately, with the heat waves also comes lightning and thunderstorms. And British Columbia is so dry that there are some massive fires happening. And we're all sort of on a state of angst. I know myself, I am. It's been, um, it's been a very trying time and there's no fires allowed, no fireworks. That's all been banned because of the extreme fire risk. As residents of British Columbia, I think all over the province, there is a heightened sense of anxiety and fear that wildfire could happen anywhere within the province. And currently there are fires burning throughout the province. There are 137 fires burning across BC. 69 of them were sparked in the last two days alone and only 13 are under control. Most cities and towns are surrounded by forests, so it would be very easy for a fire to start because of human cause or because of lightning, and it could rip through a community very quickly. Lightning, that is also a concern. It's responsible for so many of the fires in the BC interior. 12,000 lightning strikes on Thursday alone, including in Kamloops, where residents in two neighborhoods were forced to evacuate. Now, thankfully there, evacuation orders were rescinded just after midnight. The local fire chief says firefighters likely saved about 400 homes. And while that is good news, this is not. There are currently 1,300 homes under evacuation order right now, and the next seven days do not look good. There is the Lytton, British Columbia had for three days the highest temperatures in North America, and the other day it was raised to the ground by fire. 90% of the town is lost. Residents had 15 minutes to flee their homes. Unfortunately, there have been a few deaths and people missing. Yeah. The whole town is on fire. I've ordered, I've ordered the town evacuated, and I've told everyone as I was leaving town to leave. It took like a whole 15 minutes from, you know, the first sign of smoke to all of a sudden there being fire, you know, everywhere. We're hearing of just a chaotic run to cars, people just sort of not even having time to really get their heads around what they needed. They just needed to get out. My heart goes out to them because this is a fear and this is something that could happen to anybody here. I would say most people throughout the province, because our population is fairly small, we do know people throughout all sorts of communities, and 
we ourselves have had friends have had to evacuate because of wildfire already this year and it's just the beginning of summer so when temperatures are 43 degrees and as places like Lytton where it was over 46 degrees Celsius these are extremely hot temperatures and things that we're not used to today right now it's 32 degrees Celsius outside and it feels cool because it was so hot last week So in order to be proactive in case we're ever evacuated, we're going to be putting together a go kit. So it will be actually a big bin that we can just grab and stick into our vehicle. And it'll have important documents, jewelry, family photos, extra clothes, toiletries, anything that we may need that's important to us and that we may need to survive for a few days just in case we have to flee. I'm going to put that list up and I'll try to put a link somewhere uh, so that you can access it because no matter where you are for whatever emergency if you have to flee it's a good thing to have and you can just go without having to worry and scramble trying to get things together it's all in one spot Here is the lake. You can barely see it because of all of the smoke from the forest fires. It's evening about 8.30 and the sun is about to go down. It is eerie looking. This isn't actually a, a sunset. That is because of the smoke. I mean, the sun is going down, but the weird color is because of all of the smoke. Thanks for watching our video. I hope that this doesn't scare you or give you more anxiety but for some reason I just felt that I had to make this video because I just feel really anxious lately and if you liked it please give it a like share leave us a comment about anything you like we love to hear from you and subscribe for more videos around British Columbia hopefully better news than this and about Canadian culture take care and stay safe